This is a special cut down version of Photo Walkthrough episode number 126 where we're looking at one of the Photoshop CS5 brand new features, the Repousse tool. This tool is only available in Photoshop CS5 Extended but I am going to tell you about another tool that you can get that is cheaper and does possibly a better job. Here we go. So let's take a look at an image I've got here. This is just the words Hello World written in a, uh, in a text layer here in Photoshop CS5. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the 3D menu and then I'm going to choose Repousse and then Text Layer. And you can see that's the only option available to us. That's because we've got a text layer hi highlighted in our Layers palette. So if I click the OK button on that, uh, it's going to say, now this, this layer has to be rasterized, which means it has to be turned into pixels. It means it can't work with text um, as a as a path. It can't work with it as a vector shape. So it's got to render it to pixels, which is a bit of a shame, really. Um, but it's the only way it's going to work. So we're going to say yes to that. And you can see in just a moment it takes uh, to open the Repousse tool. Here we are. So I'll just move that over to the side. Uh, and we can see here we've already got the Hello World has been extruded out. You can see, let's just drag that over a little and uh, there we go. We can zoom it up a little bit um, so we can see what that's looking like. Now, look, you can already see the result of having rasterized that text. We've got some blocky edges on there. Obviously, you can work at a higher resolution um, and those blocky edges will go away. Um, I'm working at a lowish resolution so that we can uh, uh, keep the memory free for the video recording. But um, I do think it is a little bit of a shame that the text has to be rasterized in order for this to work. But uh, uh, anyway, so that's so that's a, a good first step. We've got the words Hello World in 3D, and we can change how deep that 3D extrusion is by using the depth slider here. Uh, we've also got a, a variety of Repousse shape presets. Um, so the second one along here, for example, will add a bevel on those edges. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see, but... Uh, if you can just about see it there, we've got a bevel on the edges and we can change the shape of that bevel by using the contour selector here. So if we wanted to do uh, you know, a fancy shape along the edge like a, a double bump, a little bit hard to see but you can see that's uh, made a change on the image there. Or if we just wanted to do uh, a little you know, scooped out bevel along the edge we can do that. Uh, we've also got the ability to, to change the, the size of that bevel with the width and the height options and we can change the materials of our uh, extruded shape here. We've got control over either the whole object or just the front where the letters are uh, or just the bevel or just the sides um, and of course the back and the bevel at the back. Um, so we can change ind independently. So if I wanted to change the sides for example, let's make it uh, uh, a black sided uh, shape there we go so i can change those shapes uh, those, those colors independently um, and that might give us something that we could use as a logo um, so i thought what i might do um, is try and do exactly that make a logo with this um, as you can see it's a pretty simple uh, tool so far all it's done is it's just turned this into a 3d shape so if i press ok on this what we end up with is a 3d layer um, and we can treat that like any other 3d shape in photoshop so let's move to something that we might use as a logo this is a uh, a part of an image i took of a morris minor that i then did an amazing circle with um, so let's just cut that out I'm just going to use the tool, quick, the very quick selection tool there, and do Control Shift uh, I or Command Shift I, so that I've got just the um, the logo selected, that sort of circular shape logo selected. And I'm going to do this time. I'm going to do 3D Repousse Current Selection. And what this is going to do is the bit that I've selected, which is obviously the uh, the actual shape there, uh, is going to turn that into a 3D shape. So giving it a moment for the Repousse tool to appear. Here we go. Right, so let's just zoom this until we can see it. And there we are. Um, so this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a sort of an inflated shape. We've got these options here for inflating the shape so that it, it's like a blown up like a balloon. Um, and typically if you're going to do that, what you want to do is is not have a sort of an extruded edge. We, we can extrude that um, a bit more if we want. 
um, and as you can see it doesn't have any texture there uh, we could of course using the 3d tools in Photoshop paint on a texture if we wanted to all that capability is in Photoshop CS5 uh, but uh, the 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 repose tool isn't gonna make up a texture for us so um, in this case what we want to do is uh, I just wanted to show you the inflate tool but I don't think inflating is what we're going to do with this image. I think we're going to go back to our regular extrusion tool. Um, and we're going to turn this into a sort of a, a twisted shape. So this is um, something else that the, uh, the Repose tool can do. We can do shears and bends. So let's take a look at a bend. Um, there's actually some uh, presets already that use these features. So I'm going to, I'm going to jump to this preset here. And, or, uh, it's worth just saying all of these... All of these twists and things can be uh, manually chosen by yourself if you want. So you can make this twisted and bent in exactly the way you want. Um, and as you can see, we get this sort of candy cane sort of twist here. Um, and I'm just going to shrink this object down a little bit and reduce the depth of our extrusion. It gets a little bit slow sometimes when you're doing these extrusions. You can see it's starting to chug a little bit there. Um, it is a relatively complex shape, I suppose. I'm not really sure that's uh, much of an excuse, but it, it is complex-ish. Um, and there we have a, a reasonably nice shape. And before we can turn this into any kind of logo, I think we really need some texture on it. So let's put some texture on the sides. There's a quite a nice wooden sort of texture here. I think it's leather, I think they call it. But uh, but it, it, it looks to me like quite a nice sort of wood uh, texture. So um, if we wanted to make this look like sort of a carved uh, logo that maybe we could hang from a sign, um, we could make that sort of wooden effect there. Um, we can move this around wherever we like. We can turn on and off various uh, 3D options here, like the, the axis, the ground plane, uh, the light sources. But I'm going to actually do that once I've finished here in the, uh, uh, the Repousse tool. Um, so I think we've been through all the main options here. We've got shape presets, the married materials we can apply, the different shapes of bevel, the different extrudes we can do with the bending, and the inflation. So if I press OK on that... So now we've got that shape um, produced as a 3D shape here in Photoshop. All of the regular 3D stuff applies, so we can see that all the standard 3D mesh stuff here will be usable. And also, uh, on the layer itself, we can actually go back in and edit in Repose again if we want to make some changes to it, um, and we can uh, move things around, change the twist and all the rest. Um, so that's basic uh, uh, editing of the... Uh, uh, shapes and creation of a 3D shape in Photoshop CS5 and obviously, obviously we can change light sources around and move them so that we can uh, see where the uh, uh, where the light's going to land and put reflections and all the rest on there but that might be a nice way to make a logo now um, one of the things I wanted to quickly do is just uh, um, say well how good is this in comparison to the composition because I'll be honest with you I've used a couple of 3D tools and I'm finding this a little bit a little bit clunky and it, it, it's a bit limited so I thought I might just quickly point you at, at something else uh, for a start that you don't need to spend the extra money to get Photoshop CS5 extended you know the, the extended does get you all this extra 3d functionality and there's quite a lot in there if you want to make a full 3d scene you can with you know catching shadows and all the rest um, but if you just want to make logos and things or if you just want to make 3d text really you don't need to spend all that extra cash on Photoshop CS5 and particularly with the with the interface being that little bit confusing and clunky so let me show you another tool that does the same sort of thing but in a much quicker and much cheaper way okay so here we've got Zara 3d version 6 uh, and what I'm doing here is running it in a VMware emulation this is a, a Windows only program but uh, as you'll be able to see here it runs extremely well under emulation it's a tool that's been around for quite a long time and it's a really cheap and simple tool but does some real some real uh, creative uses to it it's as you can see here we've got a shape which at the moment has got some text in the middle uh, we've got a variety of different ways that we can we can render this text we can uh, to change the extrusion just by grabbing on the text and, and making it larger or smaller or we can change the shape uh, the the angle of the the text we can turn it into a button if we wish and we can change the shape of that button uh, and you can see we've already got a, a different shape on the extrusion there I'll
This video is an extract from Photo Walkthrough, an online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. If you'd like to see more, you can find all the old shows and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com. Thank you.